What does a baby computer call its father? What does a baby computer say to its father? What? <laughs> Data. <laughs> <laughs> So that might seem pretty simple, but until recently, that was impossible. Like, let me show you the old ChatGPT. What does a baby computer say to its father? It says data. Close, but not quite. See, the old ChatGPT, what it would do is it would translate my voice into text and then feed that text into GPT-4. And there's a lot that gets lost in translation when you do that because the translation software is like kind of dumb. And so GPT-4, because it could only read the text, was only getting like kind of a compressed facsimile of all the, all the nuances of what I, what I had just said. But the new ChatGPT voice mode can natively understand speech. So it can capture all the nuances of what I'm saying and react a lot more like a human would. Let me show you another example. All right, you're an expert translator, and I'm talking to a director, and I want you to translate for me what he's saying. I'm catching that he's describing a setting. You're seated comfortably in an office, and there's a bottle of Suntory whiskey on the table. Are you discussing a specific scene or setting for a project? It sounds like they want you to look calmly into the camera. Gently. Are you filming a scene? The other cool thing about this is, um, is because it can natively understand speech, it knows when different people are talking, which which just opens up a lot more use cases. Because previously when ChatGPT translated voice into text, the, the translation element couldn't tell the difference between different speakers. So that just really reduces the complexity of the kinds of conversations that it could handle. But the new ChatGPT voice mode can handle that really easily. And the latency is great. It's really quite fast. It feels kind of like a human. But there's a couple more things about this that I think are just really cool. So I do a lot of writing. And one of the things I really love to do when I'm trying to figure out what I want to write about is I go for a walk and I just talk about what's on my mind and I record that. And usually what I would do is record it with voice memos and then throw it into some sort of transcription software and then put it into ChatGPT or into Claude and chat with it to pull out what's interesting. And, and often those things become the pieces that I write. I've always wanted to use ChatGPT voice mode for this because I feel like having someone there who can like ask me questions in real time might get me to the heart of issues that are on my mind much faster than I would on my own. Problem is that the old ChatGPT voice mode would interrupt me all the time and it just made it sort of impossible for me to like ramble and pause. OpenAI added a little feature where you could hold your finger down on the button so that it wouldn't interrupt you, but that felt kind of hacky and I didn't want to walk around like with my hand on the button all the time. The new ChatGPT voice mode though is much better. Let me show you. So I've got a lot of stuff on my mind. I'm, I wanna figure out what piece I wanna write next and I just want you to listen to me ramble. Don't interrupt, don't say anything except mm-hmm and uh, I'll tell you when I'm done and then, then we can have a conversation about it, okay? Mm -hmm. It's Saturday morning. Um, you know, I, I went and got coffee. I was doing some reading. I'm thinking a lot about what voice mode, what this new voice mode should be useful for. And I don't know, I just want to get out some of the stuff in my head. Mm -hmm. It just feels more, a little more human-like. Like it's sort of, it's sort of like the, um, A lot of the friction that I normally associate with interacting with voice uh, interfaces is just gone. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's talk about it. Can you reflect back to me what you heard? It sounds like you're exploring the difference in how voice... Okay, talk faster. You 
mentioned how voice mode feels different, more human-like, almost like the movie Her, and how it's smoother than usual voice interfaces. You are pondering what this new voice mode could best be used for and getting ideas out of your head. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Can you ask me some questions to like help me pin down what I'm feeling about this? Sure. What about voice mode feels most distinct to you? Is it the naturalness of the interaction, the convenience, or something else? Okay, one thing is the latency. Another thing is it feels like you actually have a little bit more of a personality, like you're laughing and um, I don't know, it just it just feels more like, more like you're reacting to me. Like I can ask you to say mm-hmm instead of interrupting me. And so I've, I guess I've always felt this like pressure talking to ChatGPT or even like Siri or Alexa where it just... Um, It just interrupts me, and 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 so I need to keep talking all the time. I need to always keep talking so that it doesn't get confused. And I actually doubt whether or not you're going to get confused because, like, the most you're going to do is say, mm -hmm. "No." It just feels like the future. Like it feels like a little glimpse. Obviously, this is sort of alpha software, right? And there are there are things that don't work, or sometimes the the latency is a little longer than I want it to be. Or honestly, I think it would be great if. Uh, it, you interrupt it even less frequently than than you are, um, but it it honestly kind of makes me feel um, emotional, uh, like there's something really cool happening here. It sounds like the potential for more fluid conversations with technology is really resonating with you, even if it's not perfect yet. That emotional connection is a pretty powerful sign of what this could mean for the future of interactions like these. Anything else on your mind about it? Make me laugh. Okay, here goes. Why did the computer go to the therapy? Because it had too many bits and bites. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, we're going to workshop that. So that's it. That's my quick 24-hour take the with Chad voice And mode. you should definitely it's subscribe there cool. if you want more of the latest you to on all the new AI I'll products. I'll have a more detailed write-up on this release. on And you should also check out my podcast. It's called AI and I. It's on Spotify. It's on YouTube. And as you get the chance to try this, I would love to hear what you think. So DM me, reply to this tweet, and I'll see you out there.